I'm Jess. Thank you so much for stumbling along my channel and wanting to come hang out with me. I truly appreciate it. Uh, if it's your first time here, hi, welcome, how are you? Uh, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos have been posted. If it's not your first time here, welcome back my yarny friends. I'm so excited to see all of you and come hang out and talk crafts and projects and yarn and just creative stuff. I love it. Uh, so today is Vlogmas Day 3 and uh, yeah, it is a day. I have to go to work. But anyway, um, yesterday, like I was, uh, I'm just going to jump right into it because <laughs> I have to get going to work soon. Um, yesterday when I was talking about the bags that I made, um, a lot of you were saying that you never like made a bag or you were nervous to make a bag or you never lined a bag. So I'm thinking I might do a tutorial. I think I might do a tutorial on how to do, um... The, where is it, where is it, where is it? This one. The granny square. So I'll show you guys how to do the granny square, how I connect it, and then um, I'll do uh, how I do the lining. I'll show you how I do it. Um, there's many different ways, but I'll show you how I do it. And then yesterday on lunch at work, I started the strap for this and I just went to my basic uh, I chained six skip the first one so I have five and I'm just going back and forth doing half double crochets and I am holding two strands together I have a little knot right here But anyway, so I started working on this yesterday at lunch, so I have a little bit more ways to go on it. So that's two strands together of that yarn and the H hook. And uh, so I'm like, okay, when I get home, I'll finish working on the strap and, you know, it will get it done. But then I came across this shawl pattern. So, I am using Mandala Bonus Bundle in the Colorway Centaur. It's a number three. It has 1,181 yards. It's a lot of yarn. And I just love these colors. Look at it. Look how pretty it is. And, um, so I was, you know, scrolling through YouTube and I seen that Bag O Day, uh, had a shawl tutorial and it's called the Jessica shawl. That's me, Jessica. <laughs> anyway, so I'm like, well, I have to make this shawl. It's the Jessica shawl. So I have to make it. So I put the strap on hold last night and I grabbed my uh, mandala bonus bundle that my friend got me as an early Christmas present. Thank you again. And um, I had to start it. So when Crystal at Bag O'Day um, did hers, she did it in like these Christmas colors, which were, was really cute. But that was a number two weight yarn, and she used an H hook. And then uh, for the tutorial purpose, she used Big Twist, which is a size four, and she used a J hook. So I'm like, well, I'm using a three. Should I go in the middle and use an I? And, and then I was thinking about the other... Um, shawl I made with the mandala yarn and I used a K hook and I just loved like the drape and the feel of it. So I'm like, I'm going for it. So I'm using my handy dandy K hook. And 
This is what I got so far. I just started last night. Isn't that pretty? And it's super simple, two row repeat. But whenever I work with these um, like cakes and striping yarns and stuff, I'm always like, I can't go to bed or I can't put it down until I, oh, excuse me, till I get to the next color. Uh, it's just like a little thing I, little game I play. But last night I'm going and I'm going and I'm like, Oh my gosh, am I going to be switching colors soon? I'm like, my eyes are like, I'm like, uh, I'm falling asleep. <laughs> so I had to call it quit. So I lost at my can't go to bed till I switch colors game. I lost at my own game. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, but I'm like going on and on. And I'm like, when is this color going to change? <laughs> I'm like, But I don't want to pull it out. I don't want to see. I like being surprised. So. I'm going to continue to keep working on it and hopefully, you know, the color changes soon. But um, I'll put a, a, a link for this tutorial from Bag o Day uh, in my description box. It is so pretty. It is so easy. Look at that. And I'm glad that I went with the K hook because I do like the drape and sometimes when I do... Uh, these kind of stitches, I tend to go a little tighter. So I'm glad I went with the K. I'm glad I finally listened to myself. <laughs> but um, I just got out of the shower. My hair is not. I guess it's time for a haircut. Anywho. Um, yeah. So that's all I have going on today. I'm working on the strap for that bag. I'm working on the Jessica shawl, which I don't know, not being biased, but it might be my favorite. Not because that's my name, but so um, I just thought it was really cool. I never see anything with, you know, Jessica's kind of common, but I never see anything named after it. So when I seen that, I was like, yeah, that's my shawl, and I need to make that now. <laughs> so as soon as I came home from work, I got my comfy jammies, I made a cup of coffee, I grabbed the mandala cake, and I just sat down and went for it. I think I was up to like 11, 30, 12. I, don't know. I think after a while, my eyes were just closing, and I'm like, okay, I have to call it quits. But I could have kept going. If I didn't have work today, I would have kept going, but work, you know? I was getting in the way of my fun crochet stuff. <laughs> Anyway, um, yep, so that's all I got going on for today. And um, yeah, let me know if you guys want that tutorial on how to line the bag and how to make it. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's what I'll be working on. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll hook up with you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.